Complimentary breakfast awaits us at the third floor, but we're not going to get it if we don't put in our key. So you can't even leave here if you don't have a room? You can only go down to the first floor, I think. This is like a maximum security hotel. I like that. I do too. Not sure what good it would do for the robbers to trap us in here. <laughs> we got breakfast at the hotel. It wouldn't let us take takeout containers, so we put it all in foil and in cups. So that's what's happening. I have grits, which I love, but you can't really get up north very much. Um, you can get them in like the grocery store, but not at like restaurants or anything. And um, we're leaving. And I really liked St. Louis. Oh, or, wow. Not St. Louis, I'm sorry. I really liked Louisville. And I'm a, I'm a little sad that we're going so soon. But on to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is awesome. I almost went to school there. And I love it. Heading back. It's exciting. No, just kidding. We made a wrong turn, so we gotta turn around. That's where we're back at. In Cincinnati again. We're just driving through on the way to Pittsburgh. and that was like a food tour of the strip district which is behind us I don't know you probably can't see it I didn't film it because we were asked not to use our phones which I thought was interesting the woman who ran it was a kindergarten teacher which I think explained a little bit of her directiveness um, but we are done with that and we are heading to our hotel I think it's pouring. Unexpected, we have a kitchen with a full refrigerator, bigger than the one that I had in college, or maybe the same size, but definitely not smaller. A dishwasher and a stove and a microwave and a sink and a cutting board. This is beautiful. And a little sto stooly thing. This is probably going to be bigger than my first apartment. Also, I see? love my outfit today. So I'm all bunched up around my lady bits. <laughs> but like, isn't that cute? I feel cute. Oh, OTD. This bathroom mirror, look. Very cool, right? I'm liking this. I'm enjoying this a lot. Home to potentially the world's ugliest rug. <laughs> Just wait, it gets worse. I'm gonna be honest, we have not accomplished all that much today. I just took a relatively long nap because I've been exhausted. I don't know about you, bro. I'm tired. And I'm old. And it's rainy. But we're going to dinner now. So I'll show you guys that. Night Phillips, Lever of Habits. She's our puppet. The University of Pittsburgh. Fun fact, I almost went here. I was accepted. It was the seventh best nursing school in the country at the time. It's not anymore, but it was then. And I really, really wanted to go, but it is so expensive if you're out of state. One of the ladies that was on the tour that we just did said that it's like the second most expensive state university in the country. So that explains a lot, but I just couldn't afford it, so I didn't end up coming here, but I really wanted to. I think that's the Cathedral of Learning in the background. For a $10 bottle of wine at a restaurant, this is pretty good, I would say. Would you? Absolutely. <laughs> 
They have matzo ball soup here, and I love matzo ball soup, and other people that reviewed this restaurant said it's like the best thing on their menu, so I got it, and it is amazing. Welcome to the Pittsburgh salad and the $10 wine. Pouring all day, but you know what happens when it rains. So we are at the University of Pittsburgh Cathedral of Learning, which is a super, super, super tall building just filled with school stuff. They have these nationality rooms, I've been here before, um, that have like different things to represent different countries and um, it's really, really cool. So we're gonna wander around here for a bit. very soon, like 20 minutes. Monday till 9. What time is that? It's a couple Close. minutes before 9. Oh, it sounds bad. A couple little things from that bookstore. Well, Mom got them for me, which was really nice. I got two of these stickers, one for an agenda and one for my car that I'm going to get. Then I got this book by Margaret Atwood, The Heart Goes Last. I didn't even read what it was about because I love Margaret Atwood and I just wanted to get one of her books. And then I got The Gluten Lie by Alan Ivanowitz, which I am excited about because it talks about how everybody is scared of their food and it's really unnecessary. And I agree with that statement. So I'm closing out this vlog because it is nighttime. I will see you tomorrow. And it is sort of my last day. I don't think I'm gonna vlog the last day of the driving home. But um, yeah, see you guys later. The middle of the night, I signed off a while ago, but I had to vlog because I've been reading this book for three years and I finally finished it. It was very boring. I would not recommend it to a friend, but um, it's done. I'm done with it. So if you do choose to read it, I would do an audio book, not a physical book because it's too long and not well written. It's not that it's not well written. It's just not, I don't know. It's not interesting, but it's over now, and I can move on to something I will like better.